eat my hat. When someone believes that something will never happen or is not true, they might say, if it happens, I'll eat my hat, or if it's true, I'll eat my hat. He's so lazy, he always gives up. If this new restaurant of his is a success, I'll eat my hat. You might be discussing your friend's new business venture. Maybe your daughter is worried that the sky will fall after you read a story to her. Don't worry, if the sky falls, I'll eat my hat. If I forget your birthday next year, I'll eat my hat. Your friend might promise you after she forgot your birthday two years in a row. As you can see, you might promise to eat your hat. If you are sure something will never ever occur is definitely not correct, or you might use it to back up a promise you've made. The origin of the idiom, eat my hat, would be obvious if you lived in the West between the late 1700s to before World War II. Because during this time in the West, hats were an essential part of one's attire when outside the house, everyone wore one. Hat makers or hatters used mercury nitrate to turn various animal furs into felt suitable for hat making but the toxicity of the chemical was not discovered until many hatters suffered physiological problems. Nonetheless, hatters continued to work with toxic mercury nitrate and the resultant occupational hazard became well known, even producing the idiom mad as a hatter. It is no wonder then that the Hatter character in Lewis Carroll's 1865 Alice in Wonderland came to be referred to as the Mad Hatter, though Carroll never called him that. If you were to promise to eat your hat in centuries past, you basically were saying that you were willing to ingest toxic chemicals, die if your opinion was wrong. Other cultures weren't quite so fond of hats, so they developed their own idioms to express conviction or non-conviction in something. Taiwanese people promise to take on another's surname if they are shown to be wrong about something. You might find people promising to eat a broom when, if you are in Germany. Portuguese will wish a lightning bolt fall on their head if they are shown to be incorrect. A Polish person might point to their palm and say that if they are wrong, this is where my cactus will grow. If you're in the Middle East, you might hear someone promise to cut off their arm or shave their mustache if they're incorrect. It is perhaps better not to be so sure about something that you promise to eat your hat, change your last name, 
or cut off your arm, because nothing in life is ever guaranteed. Even when you are so sure of something due to expertise, experience, and evidence, unexpected things often happen. Don't be so sure that you'll win. You might have to eat your hat, you say to a friend that is getting cocky about a chess tournament. Perhaps you were wrong about a lazy friend. I guess I'll have to eat my hat. I never thought you would graduate. If my team doesn't win the championship, I'll eat my hat, your friend might promise during playoff season. So, the next time you want to show that your conviction, belief, strong opinion that something is going to happen or is never going to happen, just promise to eat your hat.